Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Atari ST A to Z, a series of short playthroughs of Atari ST games, some which I grew up with and some which are new to me. Today is one of the latter. Today we're taking a look at Yogi's Big Cleanup, which was a 1992 release for Atari ST. It was published by High Tech Software, and like most of High Tech Software's output, it was developed by PAL Developments. And there's not really a lot more I can say about this game at the moment, because like most budget priced licensed games from the period this is not a game that is especially fondly remembered it's not a game that well it's not actually a game i can find any reviews of to be perfectly honest and it doesn't need to be remembered by many people either so we're just going to have to go on our current experiences so let's go do that let's go play yogi's big cleanup okay here we are with yogi's big cleanup from high tech software um i'm not expecting a ton from this game to be honest but you know the previous high tech licensed games that we've seen on the various Atari A to Z series. They've been competent, if nothing else. Got some nice digitized music on the title screen for this one. There's some ugly colours though. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. I mean that's yeah that's some competently drawn art. It's just that that shade of yellow in particular is horrible. <laughs> But uh, maybe we can't entirely blame Steve Dinsdale for that. It looks like Yogi Bear. Doesn't sound like Yogi Bear. I don't remember what the Yogi Bear theme went like, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it wasn't 90s techno. Yeah, we are still loading, by the way. Uh, so we've got this this piece of music to accompany the loading screen. Uh, so I assume it will tell us when it's finished. No, it just wanted me to press the fire button and then it's going to load Yogi's Big Cleanup. So yeah, an example of gratuitous, look, we did digitized music. And uh, yeah, we're not going to actually load the game until you press that. So, programming by Stuart Johnson, graphics by Swift Nick, additional graphics by Steve Dinsdale and Win. You went too fast. You went too fast. City Ideas by Rambo. Okay. <laughs> Good. Well, Catering pot noodle. Love it. Stunts and hard bits by Stig the Rat. I guess that was an office pet or something. Wardrobe by Oxfair. Model by Pete. <sighs> Nigel's wardrobe by MFI. Programmed on location in Sheffield, Yorkshire and Hathersage, Derbyshire. Lovely stuff. Anyway, let's have a go. What does that mean? Does that mean you're loading? Yes, it does. Okay, this looks remarkably similar to um, what is it called? Yogi's Great Great Escape. Except it's got much more floaty controls that are quite awkward. Has to be said. So I believe your objective. Oh god, yeah, these controls are horrible. Yeah, I. I but I believe your objective in this game is to track down um, a certain number of pieces of rubbish in each stage. Oh, but you can only carry one at once. That's interesting. So what do we do? Dump that in the bin? Yes. Okay. So that's what we do. So you grab the bits of rubbish, stick them in the bin. And then that's how you finish the level. And along the way, of course, there are plenty of things trying to stop you. 
including horrid controls, moving platforms, and Ranger Smith up at the top there. He's not actually trying to stop you, but um, what happens is that you, you see him looking at various times with his binoculars. Um, and what happens is... Oops. Get up. Get out of the water. Oh, you don't drown in the water. That's something. Yeah, you can find picnic baskets to restore Yogi's health, which is the sort of weird yellow bar underneath the score value. Um, oh, no. But you have to collect the picnic baskets while Ranger Smith isn't watching, I believe. Ooh. A secret area! Except it's not really secret, because there seems to be a bit of rubbish there that I need to collect. What's happening? Oh, that's transporting me somewhere completely different. Eh? Okay, so y Yogi's life is the, the knife at the top left of the screen. Not the bar I thought it was before. I'm not sure what that funny bar is, if indeed it is anything at all, which it might not be. <laughs> well, we're, we're certainly making some progress. Two more things to go. Oh, these controls, they're really bad. <laughs> yeah, trouble is there's there's a sort of there's a slight delay between you letting go and them stopping from moving. And that makes things like jumps very difficult to judge. See there he just he just skids off the side. I haven't checked, but I, I would assume, I would assume this comes earlier, this was released earlier than um, Yogi's Great Escape that we've seen previously, because that game, although it wasn't amazing, it did have some quite tight controls that work quite nicely. And it's just everything from the collision detection to the responsiveness of the controls in this is just not good. And when you combine dodgy controls with precise platforming like this section here, that's not a great combination. Not a great combination at all. There we go. Right, is there another bin in this direction that we can claim for ourselves perhaps oh yeah there we are see that's that's a picnic basket and Ranger Smith saw us picking that up so we don't get any health back for that don't seem to have been penalized in any way for it though aside from not getting the health restored can we go in here We can. Now, can we go back that way is the question. No, those transporters just seem to lead in random directions. Mm. 
They seem to take you somewhere else in the level. But not necessarily the same place each time. Which is a bit weird. So a nice little bonus stage. Presumably nicking all Ranger Smith's food while he's uh, elsewhere. Okay, and we go into the fireplace. It looks like you might be able to. We can! Oh! See, structurally, structurally, I quite like this because there's a nice sense of exploration and discovery to it. It's just these dreadful controls. Like there, right? I, I let go and he, he just kept walking for nearly half a second after I let go. And again there. Weird. Oh no! Bees! Oh, I've lost a life. So I've lost a prong off Yogi's fork. Painful. It almost feels like you're better off jumping straight up. Whoops. How'd you get that off you? Yeah, at times it almost feels like you're better off jumping straight up and then moving your direction afterwards. Oh, I dropped my thing as well. I dropped the rubbish I was carrying. And another life down. Sigh. Right, I've already got a can. Okay, so you can't you can't collect the same item more than once you've got to get six different items of rubbish in order to complete the level get off Yeah, like I said, this this is a real to to use a cliche. This is a real mixed bag of a game. In that the stuff to like about it very much, but just certain aspects of the execution are just so dodgy. That it makes it tough to to truly sort of relax and enjoy it. But the graphics are quite nice. Parallax scrolling is nice. Reasonably smooth for the ST as well. Sound effects aren't awful. I mean, a bit, a bit of music might have been nice. Or some digital sound effects. God. Oh, excuse me. Just rearranging my backside. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, if you jump up and then move left and right, you actually have a lot more control than if you try and jump diagonally. You're still kind of slightly prone to that same kind of skidding along without intending to problem, though. the last thing. I've just gone around in a big circle, haven't I? Bollocks! Got to do this stupid jumpy bit again. Huh? Oh no. No! Right, don't go in there. Why can't we stand on that? We just can't. Okay, fair enough. There's our last thing. Right, we might actually finish a level of this. How about that? So I think if we go through here... Get in there. No, that's taking me somewhere completely different. This is what I was talking about. That That's... Has it? Maybe it hasn't. Exit! Let me out of this hellhole. Ooh. Different action. Now we are boo-boo underwater. little thing now question is where do we take this crap now controls in this bit way better responsive they do what you tell them to there's no sort of weird floating and gliding around so that begs the question why on earth? Why on earth are the controls so bad in the platforming sections? That suggests they added a deliberate degree of sort of skittiness to Yogi's movement, which is just baffling. <laughs> You stole my thing. And how do I get it back? Because I can't shoot downwards. Oh, there it is. Right. Go away. Right, evidently we need to get into that housey thing at some point. But there are drippy taps in the way. And as we all know, drippy taps underwater are fatal. They're not fatal, but they block your path. What is this? It's nothing is what it is. I'm sure it is something, but I probably just need the right item to use with it or something. Uh, 
Nope, nothing going on there. What? What is this? What is this? Why are you throwing me into a spiky wall, you horrible fish bouncer? What do I do with the thing? I've been this way, I think, haven't I? Or have I? I don't know anymore. Oh, I miss video games with maps. <laughs> dead. 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 I think we're dead. That's it. Okay. I believe there's five or six levels in that in total. Um, I don't know how different they all are from one another, but it's, it's encouraging that the the second level is very different from the first level. That adds a nice bit of variety to it. So, yeah, not a terrible game. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Not a terrible game, but not a great game. Um, because, like I said, the main thing that lets that down is the controls on that first level. So if they were just tightened up a little bit, that would actually be quite an entertaining Explorer 2 platformer. But just with the the floaty jump controls and the way that he sort of skids along the ground. Just very strange, considering how, how sort of responsive and tight the controls are in that second level. So yeah, hard to understand why. Anyway, a, 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 competent, a competent effort that uh, could have been a bit better, but uh, certainly not terrible. I've played much worse. Anyway, let's leave that there for now. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.